In the first few seconds of the videos, we see the massive destruction of Israeli war vehicles by Hamas explosives. The conflict between Hamas and Israel has become a hot topic of discussion in the world. These are the common types of weapons that Hamas are using in the conflict. Today, we are going to talk about the most destructive and successfully utilized EFP, which is domestically produced by Hamas and called Shawaz. Explosively formed projectiles or EFPs are highly effective and lethal devices used in military applications. In this video, we will delve into the mechanics of how an EFP works. Let's break it down step by step. An EFP consists of three main components, the explosive charge, the liner, and the casing. In addition, it contains chemical circuit, detonator, percussion cap, spring, and pin. Well, the device is activated by removing the pin. When you remove the pin, the attached spring gets released and hits the percussion cap at high speed. This causes ignition on the chemical circuit, which burns for a few seconds, and then the fire reaches the detonator. As the chemical circuit causes some delay to the explosion, this process is also known as chemical delay. When the explosive charge is detonated, it generates an intense shock wave that travels at supersonic speeds. This shock wave compresses the liner, which is usually made of a dense metal such as copper or tantalum. The extreme pressure applied to the liner causes it to deform rapidly, forming into a streamlined shape known as the slug. Finally, the casing, typically made of steel or aluminum, directs the energy of the explosive charge and serves as a containment vessel for the other components. When the explosive charge detonates, the slug formed by the liner is propelled forward at velocities exceeding several kilometers per second. Upon impact with a target, the slug penetrates through armor or other protective barriers with devastating force, causing extensive damage. Whether used against armored vehicles or fortified structures, EFPs are highly effective weapons capable of neutralizing even the most heavily defended targets. The explosion is so massive and strong that it can destroy 38 centimeters of iron. And we can see the level of distraction this device costs. 